Hi everyone, I'm Jeremiah Blanchard and today I'm going to talk to you about iterators. An iterator is a variable that helps us keep track of where we are within a container or data structure. As an example, let's say we were using a loop to iterate through an array. The iterator would be the value that we change with each iteration, that is, the index that tells us where to look in the array for the data. Now, for an array, this is pretty simple, but for other types of data, this can get pretty complex, especially when we talk about abstract data structures and more complex ones that we're going to run into later on. So what we need is some way to abstract away those details so that we can use iterators one way, but apply them to all kinds of data structures. So in this way, an iterator becomes an interface that allows us to access data that's stored in many different types of ways. For example, in C++, iterators usually provide three specific services. First of all, they help us keep track of where we are in a data set. In an array, this will usually be the index of the data that we're currently accessing. It also provides access to the data at the current location. That is, it gives us a way to get the data out that's stored at this particular place. And finally, it provides us some kind of mechanism to move forward through the data set. Now, some types of iterators also implement ways for us to go backwards through the data, or ways to remove data, but this is not necessarily something that's provided across the board. And a lot of data types will only allow you to move in one direction or a read only. Let's take a look at an example. In this example, we have a list, my numbers, composed of four integers. 86, 75, 30, and 9. It prints a header out to the screen and then loops through the list, printing out each element stored within it. In this case, we create an iterator called myIter that starts at the beginning of the list, goes through each element of the list, prints out the number stored at this location is, and the data, and then terminates. The first common element among C++ iterators is what we call the begin method. The begin method returns an iterator to the starting point of the list. In other words, this method creates a new iterator and returns it that points to the beginning of the list. Because we're using a for loop, we need some way to detect the end of the data set. The end method returns an iterator that indicates we have reached the end of the data set. To advance the iterator, we use the increment operator, the plus plus. This tells the iterator to move on and point to the next element in the data set. Finally, to access the data at the element, we dereference the iterator. That is, we use the dereference operator just like we can with pointers to get the data out of the iterator. This returns the data stored at that particular location. If we look at the results of this particular block of code, we'll see that it prints the header, and then for each element in the list, it prints out the prompt and the number in the same order that they were in the list, 86, 75, 30, and 9. 